Hello, this is Violetta from Crafting with View of You, and this is part four of the Knight of Hearts crochet along. In this, in this tutorial today, we are going to cover the last several rounds of the square, of the large square, and we are going to go over some very special stitches that are used in this pattern. So in this pattern, we are going to use slanted double crochets, slanted to uh, slanted double crochets, uh, one stitch over, slanted double crochets two stitches over to the right or left and also two double crochets together. So let us work on the um, on the round number 21. In the round number 21 we are going to, to work on um, on this kind of stitches. Double crochet stitch slanted one stitch to the right Double, uh, double crochet stitch slanted two stitches to the right and you will see both of these double crochet stitches will be worked into the same stitch. Next we are going to work on a double crochet stitch slanted one stitch to the left and we will have two double crochet stitches together slanted to the left and also to the right. What does it mean? It means that one of the you know double, uh, double crochet stitches together it, they kind of have two legs okay one leg is going to be worked into the corresponding stitch just below and the other double crochet stitch is going to be worked into the stitch slanted to the um, left and the same here we will start working double crochet slanted to the right and the second double crochet um, second leg of the double crochet two together will be worked into the corresponding uh, corresponding stitch just below so let us do it and I'm going to show you while I crochet it. Pick up yarn color A and let's work our pattern. We're going to start with corner. Then we have sewed on the corner and we have one, two, three, four, five single crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. And you see how our crochet is right now placed just over the stitch into which we will need to work the double crochet. It means when we will work the double crochet, it will be slanted like this. So this will be the stitch that we are working right now. It's this one. So we're going to make this double crochet into this stitch and next double crochet is going to be worked in the same stitch so without working on any of all of the stitches of the round below we are going to work the second double crochet into this stitch to round below okay and you will see that the first double crochet is already slanted a little bit and the second is slanted a little more now we, ne we, we, we need to make sure that we skip two stitches behind the double crochets, one, two, and work into the third stitch. Next we need to work one, two, three, four single crochet stitches, one, two, three, four single crochets, and next stitch will be a double crochet a stitch slanted one stitch to the left, which will be into this stitch, okay? Because this is our corresponding stitch and this will be the stitch that is skipped over to the left. So we're working to work the double crochet into this stitch and we have our slanted double crochet. And the next double crochet that goes, that we need to work in this pattern goes into the same stitch here. Like this. Like we did two rounds below, remember? Next stitch is double crochet. And the and the next stitch that we are going to work is two double crochets together slanted to the left. It means that one of the double crochets will be worked, that we will be doing a decrease of two double crochets with one of the leg of the double crochet um, two together standing straight like this and the other slanted to the left. So yarn over, insert the hook into this loop, pull yarn now we have three loops on the hook pull through two loops do not finish this double crochet yarn over 
and let's work on the second leg of this uh, double crochet decrease pull yarn pull yarn through the two loops like this yarn over and pull through all three loops so now you see we have one double crochet standing straight and the other standing slanted to the left now make sure that you skip only four stitches behind one two three four and work the single crochet into the fifth stitch next we continue working our single crochets one two what are we doing here one two three four five six seven eight nine single crochets one two three four five six seven and nine eight and nine sorry nine so we are here and we are going to work on this double two double crochets decrease we're going to start with a slanted double crochet slanted to the right okay so instead of working into the stitch right below we're going to work into the stitch that is skipped over to the right so the first leg of this double crochet decrease is working here pull through two loops, yarn over, working on the second double crochet, pull yarn through two loops, yarn over and pull yarn through all loops. And what we have here now is we have one double crochet standing straight here and one double crochet that is slanted, slanted like just like here. Next stitch that we are, uh, that, that we are working is a double crochet. And next we are going to have a double crochet plus one double crochet that is slanted to the right. So this double crochet will go into the corresponding stitch just below. And we're going to make one more double crochet into the same stitch. That as a result will be slanted like this. So now we have here four loops, one, two, three, four, and we have to skip four loops in the back one two three four and work into the fifth stitch like this so we see the result we have slanted double crochets this way and this way and here on this side we have double crochet slanted this way next we work four single crochet stitches one two three and four and here we need to work <coughs> double crochet slanted to the right uh, to the left two stitches to the left and double crochet slanted one stitch to the left they will both go into the same stitch right here double crochet slanted two stitches to the right you see we skipped one two and we'll work in the third and the second will be skipped only one stitch and next single crochet will be worked into this stitch right above this double crochet here like this okay and we need to finish one two three four four more single crochets one two three four and this is our side this side is done let's go over the side again Start working with the corner, single crochet, two chains, single crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five. Double crochet slanted one stitch to the left, sorry, to the right. Double, cro double crochet slanted one st two stitches to the right one two skip two stitches in, in the back one two work into the third one four single crochets one two three and four 
Next, double crochet slanted one stitch to the left into this stitch here, double crochet worked into its corresponding stitch, next double crochet like a regular double crochet and a double crochet decrease, double crochet two together slanted to the left. So we're working the first leg of these two double crochets into the stitch right below and the second into the next stitch. Pull through two loops, pull through all three loops. Skip four stitches, one, two, three, four, work single crochet into the uh, fifth stitch. Nine uh, single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Oops. Nine. And next, double slanted double crochet to the right into the second double crochet stitch here. Only pull through two loops, yarn over, and work on the second double crochet. Yarn over two, uh, yarn through two loops, and pull through three loops. And our double crochet two together slanted to the right is done. Next, regular double uh, double crochet stitch. And next, double crochet stitch, and next double crochet stitch slanted one stitch to the to to the right. Skip four stitches, one, two, three, four, and work into the fifth. Make five, uh, sorry, four single crochets, one, two, three, four. And here we work two double crochets into the same stitch here. One will be, uh, the first double crochet is the s double crochet slanted, two stitches to the left. And the second is double crochet slanted, one stitch to the left. Skip two loops and work into the third single crochet plus four more single crochets to finish this side. The second side is finished and we see how the pretty heart shape is being created. So now we have finished the, um, round number 21 and we are going to work on round number 2. Number two starts with the corner, six double crochet stitches, ten single crochet stitches, four double crochet stitches, single crochet stitch, four double crochets, ten single crochet stitches, six double crochet stitches. It's an easy one because there are no special stitches in this right in this round. Start with corner, single crochet. Two chains, single crochet, six double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So the six loop for the uh, for, uh, for, for the double crochet is hidden under this double crochet sl slanted double crochet stitch so please do not skip it find it right under this single crochet here like this we have six single uh, double crochets ten single crochets one two three four Five, six, seven, nine, sorry, eight, nine, ten. Ten single crochets. Next uh, the double crochet uh, is going to be worked under this single crochet. So please find this loop into which you need to work because these double uh, slanted double crochets cover those stitches. Okay, so don't skip this one. One. Two, three, four double crochets, single crochet, and four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. You see, the fourth one is sl is under this slanted double crochet. Four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. 
four. And now we work 10 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And find the loop for the next double crochet right here under this single crochet, okay, this loop. One, two, three, four, five, and six double crochets, and this side is done. Okay, so let's do it again. Corner, single crochet into the chain stitch, two chains, single crochet into the next um, chain stitch, double crochet into the chain stitch here, then double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, and the last one is hidden under this slanted double crochet right here six double crochets eight single uh, sorry ten single crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten next four double crochets find this loop one Two, three, four, single crochet, four double crochets, one, two, three, and four, ten single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Find the loop for the next double crochet right here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And you see our pretty hearts. Let me finish the two other sides and we'll work on the next round together. And now number uh, round number 22nd is done. We are going to work on round number 23, which will start with the corner, double crochet, seven single crochets, no, eight single crochets, two double crochets together slanted to the right, Four double crochets, two double crochets slanted to the left, six single crochets, double crochets, six single crochets, two double crochets slanted to the right, four double crochets, two double crochets slanted to the left, and eight single crochets, and the last double crochet. So let's do it. Start working on the corner. Um, chain stitch, so single crochet into the first chain stitch double crochet sorry two chains single crochet into the next chain stitch double crochet goes into the chain stitch two rounds below then eight single crochets one two three four five, six, seven, and eight. And so here we're going to work this stitch, which is double crochet two together, slanted to the right. The first leg of the double crochet two together will be slanted to the right, and the second will be worked straight down. So we're going to work into this stitch. It will be, this one is slanted, one stitch to the right, you see? right into this one pull yarn through this loop and then pull through two loops do not finish this double crochet 
start working the second one pull yarn like this pull yarn through two loops yarn over and pull through three loops and our double crochet two together slanted to the right is done next we work four double crochets one two three and four and the next stitch will be double crochet two together slanted to the left so the first double crochet is worked into its corresponding stitch right below pull through two loops do not finish this double crochet yarn over pull out a loop pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through three loops and we did the same thing as we did in this round we did the double crochet decrease slanted to the left now we have six loops here one two three four five six we need to skip six loops in the back one two three four five six and work into the seventh the seventh loop is this one this will be the loop into which we are going to work our single crochet first single crochet second third fourth and fifth So, actually it's six single crochets and now double crochet into this loop here six single crochets one two three four five and six and now we are working on a double crochet two together slanted to the right just like we did on this heart working into this stitch here so which is skipped one stitch over to the right from the corresponding stitch of this one pull yarn through two loops yarn over start working the second double crochet yarn over and pull through two loops yarn over pull through three loops then continue working four double crochets one two three and four and now double crochet two together slanted to the left working the first leg of this double crochet two together one working the second one two pull through three loops now skip six loops in the back one two three four five six and work into the seventh one single crochet one two three four five six seven and eight and the last will be the double crochet from this pattern this side is done let's do it again so start with the corner single crochet two chains single crochet double crochet eight single crochets one two three four five six seven and eight now double crochet two together first half of the double crochet second pull through three loops these stitches are done double crochet double crochet third and fourth now double crochet two together again pull through two loops yarn over pull yarn pull through two loops yarn over pull through three loops skip six stitches work into the seventh one two three four five six single crochets double crochet six single crochets one two three four five six now double 
a crochet two together working into this stitch here right below this one pull yarn pull yarn through two loops pull a loop pull yarn through two loops yarn over pull through three loops work next four double crochets one two three and four and let's do it again yarn over pull a loop yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull the second loop yarn over pulled through two loops and now yarn over and pull through three loops skip six stitches and work into the seventh one two three four five six seven and eight and finish this side by making this double crochet stitch second side is done and so are little pretty hearts i'm going to show uh, to finish two other sides and see you in the next round so this one is done and we are going to work on the uh, round number 24 number 24 is easy we don't have any special stitches here we're working the corner two single crochets eight double crochets six single crochets five double crochets three single crochets five double crochets sing six single crochets eight double crochets and two single crochets in the end so let's do it join yarn start working the corner single crochet two chains two single crochets after the corner eight double crochets one two three four five six seven and eight don't skip it don't forget it's under this single crochet under this slanted double crochet from the previous round six single crochets five and six now five double crochets find the loop into which you need to work it's right here one double crochet two three oops four and five now we work three single crochets one two and three five double crochets again one two three four and five six single crochets one two three four five and six double crochet don't forget find that loop into which you need to work into one oops two three four five six seven and eight double crochets single crochet and single crochet and this side is done so this is an easy side i'm not going to show it to you again see you in the next round round number 24 is done and we are going to work on round number 25 it will start with the corner then a double crochet then 20 single crochets double crochet slanted one stitch to the left three single crochets double crochet slanted one stitch to the right 20 single crochets and a double crochet it's an easy one it will create the frame around our pretty hearts so let's pick up yarn color a join start working on the corner single crochet into the first chain 
two chains, single crochet into the second chain stitch, double crochet, then single crochets, let me crochet them faster, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let me count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 single crochets. Now, a double crochet slanted one stitch to the left, which will go into this stitch. Double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three. Double crochet slanted one stitch to the right. Double crochets, keep one stitch and make 20 more single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, oops, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty, and the last double crochet of this side. This side is done, and I guess it was an easy one, so I am not going to show it again to not so to not make this tutorial too long. So see you in the last round. Round 25 is done, and let's work on the last round, which will start with a double crochet corner, then a double crochet. 22 single crochet stitches, 3 double crochets, 22 single crochets, and a double crochet as the last stitch of the side. So let us change the yarn to color B, C, or D, depending on how many colors you're using for your design. Start working the double crochet stitch. So again, we are not working into chain stitches here, we're going to work into chain stitches to round below, right here. Our first double crochet goes into this first chain stitch, then two chain stitches, double crochet into the second chain stitch to round below, to, to round below. The double crochet corner is done. Next, our stitch is double crochet, and then 22 single crochets. And 20 second. Now three double crochets. Double crochet into this stitch here. One, two, three, and 22 more single crochets. Twenty-two double crochets. Sorry, single crochets. Did I say double crochets? Twenty-two single crochets. Twenty-two single crochets. The twenty-second one and double crochet. Last double crochet of this side. 
Next side will start with a double crochet. Double crochet would go into this stitch. Our last round is done and we are going to close this round. Okay, so we're going to pull, uh, cu uh, cut the yarn please and then pull the end through this last loop. Okay, to have this loose end. Now insert the hook under the two loops of this a double crochet stitch as we usually do for closing a round and pull this yarn onto the back then insert the hook into the back loop into this one back loop of the last single crochet that you made in this round and pull the yarn onto the back through this loop Please don't forget to tighten it, because if you do not tighten it, you will have one extra stitch that is created between these two double crochets, okay? So you need to tighten it really well, so it completely disappears, so we don't see it anymore. And we have a continuous stitch uh, chain, of, um, chain uh, of stitches on this round, okay? So please do not leave it loose like this. Tighten it to make it completely disappeared. And then you, you use your preferred method to fasten it off and weave it in. This way your square is done. Um, in our next, uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and in our next tutorial we are going to connect the squares and create the border. Now, how many squares do you need for this design? It's re it really depends on what design you want to do. For example, you could use only large squares to connect them and to create a border around. You can have uh, small squares in the center with large squares at the sides, like I did for my sample here. You see, I connected small squares first, created a larger square using these nine small squares, and then connected eight more um, large squares around it and created the border or you could for example have large squares in the corners and stripes made with small squares uh, across uh, in between the large squares and then create the border I have create uh, I have made uh, squares using twister solid hobby yarn here and here my small squares are ready to create this design so in our next tutorial I'm going to finish the little um, blankie I don't know it will be just a very small piece maybe a wall hanging or something I might frame it I will do this design so see you in our, in, in our next tutorial to join the edges and make the border for this design please do not forget to like and, and subscribe to our channel so that you get the notifications when I upload our next tutorial